obviously they're trying to control the control the ball. Um, but you know, we all know there's got to be some balance. It was it was a tough situation. <clears throat> you know, it compounded it with uh, obviously you know not winning a toss and then having the win in your face to start the game. Um, you know, so there's some things that you just gotta. You know, sometimes you gotta you gotta be able to make a few yards and uh, rely on some of those guys up front, even if they are putting the extra guys. And I think that was maybe the philosophy a little bit. And then um, you know. It, it, when it works, it's uh, you know it doesn't get as many questions, and when it doesn't work quite as well, uh, you know obviously there's a lot more questions. So um, we all know we've said it a million times. I think I said it every week. We, balance has got to be the key, uh, and when we've got to create and find some more of that, whether it's um, throwing it or screening it or drawing it, like the guy from the quarterback club said. But um, that's a part of what we you know are continuing to try to to get better at. Luke, as far as the team morale and attitude, you, you miss the extra point, possibly cost you the Big Ten championship game. Are you concerned uh, about a, a carryover or a hangover effect on the team moving forward? Oh, you know what? I mean, <laughs> I think the the young guys are, are, are more resilient than you think. And, you know, sometimes you come back in on Sunday and the best thing you do is get right back at it. And I think that's what you saw from those guys. Yes, they're disappointed. Yes, they're hurt. Um, but you know they got a passion to play. They got a passion to get better. They, you know, they're not they're not happy with where they are. So, uh, you know, that was the greatest thing to see come Sunday. Yes, they're down and disappointed. But when you get back out there, um, sometimes it, it you know clears their mind a little bit more, and you see what uh, you know what they're really all about. And you know they're about continue to fight through this thing. So I, that's the best thing I can tell you that I said at the end of the game. You know, we all were down. We all hurt. Um, but I told him I said I, I there's nothing that I like to see more than at least the passion you had, you know, fighting, clawing back, not playing our best. But when you really, when the chips were down, you know, there was nobody that was sitting on the side trying to pull themselves out. Uh, you know, they showed some passion there, and, and we didn't get the job done. But uh, I think that's what we got to continue to build on. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't know that you know, like we've heard, it's probably real good to show, show him stumbling around if that was the case. But uh, he got hit. I uh, don't know that he's going to be available for for who knows how long. Um, but, uh, you know, the most biggest concern is that, you know, we make sure he gets okay, um, regardless of the football aspect of things. So uh, there's a lot of things there that we don't know about just yet. Uh, Big John, don't know. He obviously didn't make it back into the football game. Right now uh, doesn't look probably real good, but uh, we'll see as the week moves along. Uh, I guess we got maybe some some decent news that hopefully it wasn't, uh, you know, getting MRI results back, hoping it's not a, not a, a season uh, ending one of those things, but uh, or a six-month thing. So, but we're not positive just yet. Well, hopefully it gives him a spark, kind of like it did with Boom. He's been that guy that um, throughout this entire process. I promise you, the guy's uh, respect for the way he's handled himself, the way he's practiced, um, you know, what he's shown, he's learned from from uh, you know the situation, and hopefully it gives him a spark. It, it uh, you know, obviously he's a senior, will be playing his last game at home. Um, and you know those guys just like when boom when you look around and you're in a huddle and you got some guy that's got some confidence um it's been there has done it you know hopefully they can all feed off of that and that's what uh, we're looking for ever since they came into the big 10 it was it was a huge bonus um you know obviously two schools <clears throat> we've said it with some of the other ones it's you know the history that that goes back and forth um you know we can both claim to have the, the greatest history in college football and this that or the other things the greatest fans the largest um university i mean we might be one and two with the largest alumni associations in the in the world um, there's a lot of big uh, similarities and things um, but st truly on the field it's very similar as well and um, you know it, it could be a, a shorter not a super long game if, if people are gonna you know run the football and pound it and and uh, you know but there are a lot of similarities in the team a lot of similarities in their histories uh, regardless of the things that people want to talk about um, the negative things there's a lot of similarities in the in, in all the positives from from their university to our universe, university from their football program to our football program what concerns you the most about what they do both on offense and defense uh, well obviously I think it starts with their defense you know, I mean, number one in the Big Ten, I think, in pass efficiency. So that might make it a little bit more difficult to throw the football like some of us, you know, want to do. But um, the thing that, that they're they're going to do is they're going to pressure you. And they're they're going to have uh, those front four guys are going to be coming every single time. Uh, they do a great job with that. Uh, ever since I've known them, ever since I've, we played against them, I think that's where it starts for them. You know, their front seven is going to be very, very strong and sound in what they do. Uh, they're not going to confuse you a, probably a ton. Uh, you're going to know what you're going to get, and you know. 
that makes them that much better. So I think it starts there offensively. I think their their ability to, to run the football has been what's you know been really good for them. You know, if you look back last week, I know they lost, but I think they ran the ball 48 times. Um, you know, and that really, I know they made a couple big long passes to get them back in the game, but even towards the end of that game, they were running the football to, to give themselves a chance. Mm-hmm.